Hello, my name is Robert Carnworth. I am a Justice of the Supreme Court. As part of Justice Week 2020, I've been invited to speak about my career and about my work at the Supreme Court. In doing so, I hope to help people, particularly young people, learn a bit more about the justice system in the United Kingdom. Happily, most young people do not come into contact with the courts in their ordinary lives, but they do need to know about what the courts are up to. All our activities and relationships, business and personal, are in the end regulated by the law, and it is the courts that administer the law. I came into the law as a young barrister in 1970, and I became a judge in 1994. So I've been in the law for 50 years, and I've been a judge for 26 years. I chose the law mainly because a number of my friends had done so, and I had no better plans. When I started, I had very little idea what my work would involve, or how my career would develop. I began by representing defendants in small-scale cases, for example, representing defendants in the magistrates' courts on driving charges, or doing small-scale property disputes in the county courts. I was also instructed in cases about social security and housing, perhaps defending a family from eviction for non-payment of rent when they had fallen on a hard times, or advising the charity shelter about social security benefits and the obligations of local authorities to the homeless. Later on, I conducted test cases against the government in the High Court over rights to social security benefits. One of my main areas of practice was in town and country planning, promoting or opposing development schemes of all kinds by private organisations or government bodies. I loved travelling round the country to public inquiries and meeting the different communities and groups involved. For example, I led for the government on the first public inquiry into what became the M25 motorway round London. I also had the privilege later on of acting for six years as legal advisor to HRH, the Prince of Wales. When I became a judge in 1994, the pattern of my working life changed completely. It was much more static, based in the High Court in London. The cases came to me instead of me having to travel to the cases. But I still enjoyed the variety of the cases, watching real-life dramas played out in the witness box, and the intellectual and human challenge of trying to find an answer which fitted the law and was fair to all. For the last eight years, I've been in the Supreme Court. We do not see real witnesses here, but we have to grapple with novel and complex legal issues. The Supreme Court is the final court of appeal in the United Kingdom for civil cases and for criminal cases from England, Wales and Northern Ireland. It hears cases of the greatest public and constitutional importance affecting the whole population. Even children at school may be affected by our decisions. For example, in 2015, the Supreme Court upheld a fine imposed on a father for taking his daughter out of school for an unauthorised holiday break. So it may affect everyone. Our sessions are live-streamed on the Court's website and available to watch on demand too. Some attract millions of viewers, like our recent hearing to decide whether the Prime, Prime Minister had acted lawfully in suspending Parliament last September during the Brexit debate. Personally, I have taken a particular interest in environmental law cases. For example, we had a case brought by the campaigning group Client Earth, complaining to the gov of the government's failure to comply with European standards on air pollution in major cities. We upheld the claim and ordered the government to come up with a revised plan. Next month I shall be leaving the Supreme Court having reached the statutory retirement age of 75. I have been very lucky. There are few careers which offer so much variety, friendship and intellectual stimulation, combined with opportunities to help people of all kinds 
in facing up to and overcoming the challenges of their personal and business lives. Although I am retiring from the court, I do not expect my career to end there. I look forward with relish to whatever lies ahead. Thank you very much.